is up fam welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome to way to serve style serving you your dose of fashion beauty and lifestyle i'm crystal waiters and i do all of the things child i'm a model makeup artist photographer simply put i'm a fashion and beauty enthusiast and if fashion and beauty is something that you love as much as i do please consider subscribing and joining the family speaking of subscribers we are growing growing rapidly and we have a goal to reach 1,000 subscribers by the end of March, and we, we're on our way there. So we need you to join the family. In addition to subscribing, please turn on your um, notifications so you can know when I upload videos. I upload videos um, regularly every Sunday since I started this channel. So uh, we are trying to get into posting more throughout the week, but you can be guaranteed a video every Sunday. In addition to YouTube, <laughs> please make sure you follow my blog. Yes, I have a blog, waytoservestyle.com, where you can get more in-depth um, tips on how to make your wardrobe work for you. And I believe that's it. Nope, that's not it. I was doing so good. I almost forgot. Um, let's get into the look of the video. And you know it. It's a good one. Okay, for today's look, we are doing this beautiful printed i don't know if this is tie-dye or whatever but i love the print and the color and what got um me to buy this dress was um it has the cutouts on this side you know this is one of my favorite trends and um i actually shot this look probably about a month ago so if you're not following me on instagram please make sure you do um you will see me um post uh different looks throughout the week um definitely more tips as far as fashion and beauty is concerned with my reels in addition to instagram and blogging i just started tiktok so please make sure you give me a follow on tiktok my name is the same on all platforms way to serve style and yeah it's a good one let me know what you think of this look i think i paired it with this oversized um faux leather trench coat with these fabulous glasses and some chunky boots for a chill vibe and i love this look um and i thought it would be cute for the video today so please let me know what you think and yes let's get into a good see just press to say good one let's get into the video because it's a good one <laughs> okay today's video we are talking about blazers blazers and more blazers one of the key essentials in your wardrobe if you haven't checked out my wardrobe essential video please make sure you do i'm teaching you how to incorporate the essentials into your wardrobe to make your wardrobe work better for you and the main piece the the creme de la creme i'm butchering that is having you a well-fitted blazer or different kinds of blazers uh in this video i'm i'm showing you some very minuscule um amount of blazers that i have in my collection and showing you how to style them different ways that you can style them long gone are the days where we're just wearing blazers to work and pairing them with pencil skirts and pants um, we are doing so much with blazers. Blazers are considered a completer piece and they just elevate any look. So if you are into blazers, if you uh, need tips and ideas on how to style different blazers, different ways, this is the video for you. All right, let's get into it. Okay, first up, I am doing this um, pink blazer. Yes, I know. If you've been rocking with me for a little while, you know I'm a bit of a hypocrite because I keep saying pink is my least favorite color, yet I have several pink blazers, and this is just one of them. It's just this shade of pink that I just can't get with, but I wear it because it looks so good on me. <laughs> That's terrible, but needless to say, I love this blazer. This blazer I got from Shein from one of their more expensive lines, Motif, Motaf. I, I don't know how to pronounce it. But what I love about this blazer is giving me drama boy-esque with these fabulous lapels and buttons on the side. This is um, meant to be worn open as it doesn't have any um, closure buttons. But the way that I style this blazer is with this mesh dress and we're paring it down um you would typically think um dressing up this blazer but no we are in a chill vibe but at the same time 
it's still elevated so i just have it thrown over the shoulder that's one of the um best ways in my opinion to wear blazers and jackets for a little extraness uh, it just gives your look just that extra chef's kiss <laughs> in terms of shoes i'm doing my uh, one of my favorite pairs of tennis shoes my black and white um old school nikes for a chill cool vibe i'm foregoing bags and shoes um in this bags and shoes i'm i'm foregoing bags and sunnies in this video because i really want the focus to be on blazers however if I was to do a bag, it will probably be a chain um, bag, my chain uh, Bottega dupe um, quilted bag and some shades, probably just a pair of Ray-Bans or um, really dark out uh, sunglasses. I love this look. This look can be worn to happy hour, running errands um doing just about anything i wouldn't necessarily wear this outfit to work because um it is on the bit of the revealing side but it is a casual vibe if you want to look cute a little sexy but still comfortable this look is for you all right on to the next okay now for the next look we are doing a blazer in a traditional style yes in a suit I love suits, but the key to this suit is the suit is extremely oversized. Yes, oversized blazers have been a thing since probably about 2019 up until this very day. Oversized blazers, for me, if it's not oversized, I typically don't want it. You could just do so much stuff with oversized blazers and oversized blazers thrown over the shoulder is just that extraness that I just live for. Um, but in terms of this outfit, I'm doing this fabulous green suit. Excuse me, it's a little wrinkled. I didn't have time to steam it, but y'all not judging. Um, I'm doing this fabulous green suit and I'm pairing it with a pair of Jordans in the same color. I am really into juxtaposition, dressing things down or pairing more feminine items with harder items, hard versus soft. And typically you you will want to dress up a suit but for this outfit i just love how these green jordans just pair perfectly with this suit i forewent a, a shirt um but typically you can do a t-shirt you can even do a bralette i was actually thinking about doing a bralette um but um i don't know why i didn't do it um kind of pressed for time i guess i don't know um but i would typically do um, a white bralette just to have a casual vibe with some gold chains. Um, and in terms of a bag, I would probably do um, an oversized clutch. I, I love that look. Um, I love clutches. Um, but for this, play with juxtaposition in terms of your suiting. If you have a um, suit that you typically go to, try pairing it with some sneakers and see you know, the different vibe that you can get or your favorite t-shirt or even on the sexier side, doing a lace bra or lace cami. Um, really have fun. That's one of the things about blazers that I love so much. You can do so much with them and especially blazers um, that come with suits. So we love this look. All right. Okay, so for my more dressy girls, my more dressy occasions, <laughs> I wanted to do this outfit um, for when you want to go out, a night out on the town, or you can even do this in um, a wedding or somewhere where you want to hang out. And for this look, I'm doing a pair of fabulous satin wide leg pants and this beautiful, beautiful blazer that I actually hauled in my Shein haul. And if you haven't checked that out, please check it out i will either link it up here or list it below um but um in terms of shoes i'm throwing the look off with a pair of cobalt blue shoes i just love how the blue peeks through on um, the pants the plants graze um the floor which i love all my wide leg plants to do that it's kind of hard to find um wide leg plants for my tall frame that grazes the floor because i stand at six feet tall but these 
are perfect. Um, these heels are about four to five inches high and they still hit the floor. Um, fun fact, I'm not really, I don't have on uh, the shoes all the way because um, I'm dealing with a little situation on the back of my foot, but neither here or there. And they still hit the floor. So I'm saying all that to say these pants are amazing. Um, I got these pants from ASOS.com, but I believe that they are unfortunately sold out. But if they are in stock, I will list them below. But we love this look. I kept the um, blazer buttoned up, and then we just let it all hang out. I love the idea of doing a bralette with a bright blazer or a bra with a blazer um, and some wild leg pants because you can give that sexy vibe but still cover it up. You're giving a little, but you're also not giving too much. And we love this. All right, on to the next. Okay, next up, we are doing a bit of color blocking. Yes, get you a blazer in a fun, bright color where you can just have at it in terms of color clashing. That's what they're calling it now um, in terms of trends. But color blocking has been around for literally ages. Um, but... I am doing this neon orange blazer paired with the color of the season, very Perry or lilac purple, whatever you want to call it, satin dress. And I'm again throwing it off with some chunky um, patent combat boots. Um, I love this edgy feminine vibe and I still look elevated, but at the same time, a bit of edge. I love edgy looks and if you're anything like me this is the perfect look for you. If you don't want to do too much color if this is too much color for you you can swap um, the blazer and the dress out with a black satin dress and a black moto jacket. That would be fabulous but we wanted to play around with textures and colors in this look and I love this look. It just created the edge that I absolutely needed. I got the dress from ASOS, it's in a size eight, and I got the blazer from Shein, and it's also in a size eight, and the um, boots are also from ASOS too. As far as styling is concerned, I would keep the bag simple. Typically when I wear those patent boots, I always wear my patent oversized clutch, and I think that would just be a perfect look. And yeah, let me know what you think of this. All right, moving right along. All right, for the next look, and I believe this is the final look. Yes, for the um, final look, I am pairing um, a classic fitted black blazer, but instead of dressing it up, we're dressing it all the way down. <laughs> I'm doing this cute um, outcast shirt, vintage. I love this shirt, I got it from H&M. Um, it's extremely oversized. Uh, this is a small and it fits like a large, but I love that it's giving that concert vintage vibe t-shirt and it, I know it wasn't no more than $6 and I'm like, what? I have to snag this. Um, in terms of the blazer, the blazer I actually hauled in my Zara haul. So if you haven't watched that, please make sure you do. Um, I love this blazer. It's giving ball mob vibes with the um, fitted narrow waist and the large lapels and the shoulder padding and the gold buttons. This blazer is essential. Like you can take this blazer and wear it so many different ways. And for this look, I chose to pair it down. In terms of shoes, I'm doing some um, to the knee chunky boots um, just for that bit of edge. I don't know why, I just felt being extremely edgy today. <laughs> and created this fabulous vibe in terms of a bag. I probably would throw it off with a bit of color, maybe my neon bag, um, just to break up that black. Um, and keeping everything very vampy, very dark, and a bit of sexiness in it. Um, it's really showing off your body, but this is how you do a simple pair of t-shirt and jeans. You throw you on a classic blazer and it changes the whole vibe and you give yourself a look. <laughs> You're creating a moment with your outfit and we love to create moments with our outfits. So let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm posting the... Um, styling portion here of what the outfits look like. I have for went or I'm foregoing rather holding up the pieces because I find when I'm watching my videos back it's a bit distracting but let me know what you guys think. Um 
And yeah, I think that's it. All right, on to the next. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, please make sure you thumbs it up. We are getting out there in that algorithm, but it can only be done if you like this video and subscribe. Please make sure you subscribe. Also, if you found this uh, video to be helpful and you want to see more videos like this, definitely check out my blog because I do um, things like this um, throughout my blog on a weekly basis. I'm trying to get back to weekly posting. Right now, it's more like bi-weekly. But nonetheless, you will find a load of content on how to style different pieces like this. And if this is, if this is something that you want me to incorporate into the channel, please let me know. Um, please make sure you follow me on Instagram, TikTok, everything way to serve style. Um, and I think that's it. All right, guys. Be well and be blessed. Take care. Bye.